Hello everybody. Today I'm going to bring to you a small lecture, but it's full of information so that you understand how our body, how our body cells, 60 trillions of cells that you and I have, multiplied, divide, live, and die, which are the reasons why we have cancer, metabolic diseases, and cell toxicity. I'm going to bring you a little bit back to high school. We're going to talk a little bit about those mathematical uh, formula in which we used to use there. You'll see. And I'm also going to give you a base fundamental, uh, let's say, idea. How is that all these preventive therapies that we do in medicine really work? Because sometimes you or me, let's say anybody, will say, like, you know what? I did this therapy, but I don't feel anything. I don't think this is really working for me. I'm going to give you examples that you will start thinking and you're going to be in a level of comprehension that biochemical reactions, you don't see it. You don't feel it, but they are there. We're going to talk about a little bit about biology and biochemistry. A little of diet, nutrition, and something that we call in biology cellular respiration. I hope you like it. And please write your comments. Ask me questions that will help me better to produce a better video or lecture or presentation to guide you better. Once again, Dante Hoa. I hope you like this. El doctor Dante Hoa ya está aquí, pa ti, pa mí, pa mí, pa ti. El doctor Dante Hoa ya llegó y ya está aquí, pa ti, pa mí. Dante Hoa ya está aquí. Now let me take my tea. You remember, I always drink my tea. This tea is kind of a, it is a, it's a, uh, it looks black. We call it Paule. Paule. Um, and this is a type of tea that after you, like me, I mean, if you like me, you know, 40 and up, I'm not gonna say how much, how many, uh, you wanna drink. Because green tea is very good, but before you were 40 or 50, it was strong. As we get older, it's more difficult to absorb it. So if you get this Paule or Paule tea, it's a type of green tea, but it's organically better for you to drink it and to be absorbed easily. In, in Chinese uh, or in Asia uh, culture, that's one thing that we always take, our tea. And it's good for you. Why? Remember, we are 60% water, but each cell is what? 80% water. I like it. I like it. Now, I said that each cell is 80% water. So what you see there is just one cell that has inside many organelles, complex organelles in one cell. Mitochondria is what you see on the top that is above the human cell uh, letters and below, like in the edge. I couldn't mark it, but I don't know how to mark it. Let me see if I could mark it here. Let me see. Let me see. Let's go here. Okay, I think I can. Okay. You see here, this here, all this here, is this is a mitochondria. This is another mitochondria here. That's where all the energy is produced. That's where we break things. That's what make your body 
strong enough in order for him to detoxify itself, to engage into the production of many things. But when your cell is loaded with toxins, with metals, when it's weak, when the membranes are weak, when it's dehydrated because you don't drink enough water, or because your body system is damaged, then we have the oxidative or metabolic disorders or disease or syndrome, such as type 2 diabetes, such as cardiovascular disease, such as stroke, heart attack, fatty liver, dementia, cancer, polycystic ovarian diseases, immune disorders, almost all of the diseases that we see today, 75 percentage, listen carefully, in the population in the United States of America, 75 percent percentage of population suffers from all these metabolic diseases that I just mentioned as chronic diseases. It happens to be that you could have the disease but have no symptom because it's in a progression mode. And when it gets to show symptoms, the normal medicine, the allopathic medicine, the medicine that any doctor do normally, is just to treat the symptoms, not the disease. That is very sorry. That is very bad. Yeah, I feel bad saying it. But that is the reason why you need to go into preventive care, which it is sad to say that in America, insurance don't cover preventive care or preventive medicine. Why? First of all, all these toxicants, all these poisons that your body's trying to get rid of, there are only a few handful of labs, laboratories, that do this specific test of toxicology. Not every lab does this. And guess what? Medical insurance mostly do not cover these toxicology urine exams. Yeah, I don't know why. When 75% of all the money used in the healthcare system goes specifically to all these chronic metabolic diseases. Does that make sense? It doesn't make sense. But anyway, what I want you to know is that still there is hope. There is a lot that we could do if we understand how our body works, what nutrients can we take, and how can we prevent being exposed to so many toxics, toxin, toxical substances, environmental toxicants that is surrounding all of us? Let's continue. Now, how cells grow? How cells divide? How cells die? It is a very uh, simple concept. We're just going to use a few formula to calculate this. Let me remind you that in high school, you used to do these kind of mathematical exercises when you want to find out a area of a two-dimensional structure or a spherical structure or circle structure or object. We used to use the R, which is 10 as radio. Or radius you know and we use the pi which remembers 3.14 times square or r square so in our human body which you know we have 60 trillion cells each cell from the outer surface from the outer surface has a specific uh, measurement that we could uh, calculate easily as well as the volume inside uh, that given cell. 
and we're going to start by the radius. And then you may ask yourself, yeah, I remember the word radius. What exactly does that mean? Well, the radius is the distance from the center of the circle to the outer edge. And if we do this and we square the radius and multiply by pi, 3.14, this will actually tell us the area or the surface area of this object of this spherical or circle structure. But you and I are not a two-dimensional. We are three-dimensional. And we're going to use a totally different, well, not a totally different formula. We're just going to add the number four. For the surface area, we're going to add the four pi r squared. For the volume, we're going to use the same thing, the four pi squared, but cubit or cube, meaning three. 3 times 3 times 3. Ah, don't worry about it. In the next slide, you will understand that. Because that is what is going to help you to understand how a cell will grow to a specific size. And when that cell, on the normal condition, is going to start subdividing itself. And if it cannot subdivide itself, it will die. The logic, I will explain it to you in the next slide. All right, here we see the R square and we see the R cube. So what we do when we refer to the cube is that we multiply it three times by itself. For example, let's assume that the internal volume radio of this cell is one. So let's use the formula. R square, it will be, if it's the radio is equal to 1, it will be 1 times 1 e equals 1. Now, what about the volume? When we said that is the R cubed, which will multiply that 3 times by itself. So the R equals 1 in the volume, we're going to multiply 1 times 1 times 1 equals 1. So at the end of the day, it's all good. It's well balanced. The surface area, the outer surface area is 1, and the internal volume of this cell equals 1. That means that the oxygen, when it comes in, that the CO2, when it comes out, that the glucose, when it comes in, that the energy that comes out, that amino acid, when it comes in, and it builds some proteins, and then when we break those old proteins, it will be uh, converted into ammonia, urea. When we get this nucleotide, which is the basic fundamental uh, skeleton of the DNA and RNA, when we have the old RNA or old uh, DNA, we're going to break it down into what? Uric acid. We have vitamins and minerals, remember? They will be working as a coenzymes to help things happen in your body. And remember, we're going to be drinking a lot of water because you and I are what? 60% of water, but inside the cell, each cell is 80% of water. That is the reason why you need to drink a lot of water. All right? So, but now let's think about this. Let's say that that cell grow, get larger, like twice the size. Now let's think about this. Let's see what happened now as the cell grows. So, the, the radius of this cell, let's make just a number, okay, uh, is 2. So we get the R square, and that will be 2 times 2, that will be, will be what? 4. So the surface area of these cells got larger by 4. Now let's think about the volume, because on the volume we are going to use, and we're going to multiply itself 3 times. That's the R cube. So because the, the radio was 2, so we go 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. You see now? Now they are not the same. Like in the previous one, which the surface area was 1 and the volume was 1. Now, as the cell growth, the surface area 
became, yes, larger on four, but the volume was really bigger than the surface area. And why do we need to talk about that? Well, if we don't have the same space, the same amount of surface area as the volume, it will be, it will take long time for the nutrients to come in and the metabolic waste to get out. So if you got the metabolic waste retained because it's too much inside and the outer surface is a small, it cannot get out. Therefore, you are going to accumulate all these toxins, all these byproducts like CO2, like ammonia, like urea, like uric acid that we already mentioned. Do you see as the cell growth, such the surface area growth? Yes, but also the volume growth. And if we have too much inside and too little in the surface area, they will not be able to do the cellular respiration as they're supposed to do, as getting all the good nutrients in a timely manner, dispose them in a timely manner. You getting the idea? All right, now let's uh, give you an example, okay? Let's start first with uh, the formula, okay? Remember that in order to calculate the surface area, we are going to, we're not going to use actually the pi. We're just going to get the square, okay? The R square for the surface area. And for the volume, remember, we are going to use the R cube or the inner volume. So let's think about that I have a cell. Remember the first example? It has a surface area of one. Okay? You see the radio equals one. So I get the square one times one equals one. What about the volume? What do we say about the volume? The same thing is one. One times one times one equals one. There, the inside and the outer surface is equal. So it's easy for all the nutrients to come in and for all the medical waste, the, I said medical, that's metabolic waste to come out. So it's keeping yourself alive. It's keeping yourself healthy because it's getting all rid of all this toxin. Now, let's say that your cell or my cell grow bigger. Now we have the radio of two. So let's calculate the radio of two. Two times two, four. What about the volume? Well, two times two, four times two, eight. Now the surface area is much smaller than the inside of the volume. So that's gonna make the cell some difficulties of getting rid of the metabolic waste as fast as the nutrients are coming in. Now, let's think about one more scenario. You have now that the cell grew larger. It has a, radi a radio of four. So let's go with the surface area, four times four, 16. What about the volume inside? Four times four times four, 64. At this time, it is very difficult. Look at the surface area, 16. Look at the volume inside, 64. It's going to take too long for all those nutrients to get inside and for all those ways to get out. Therefore, if that cell doesn't stop growing, it's going to die because it's going to retain all those toxins inside and it won't be able to receive oxygen, nutrients, uh, amino acids, nucleotides, water, everything, and the cell will die. At this point, there is a signal that tells the cells divide. And when they divide, look, it's like going back to radius one. Now, because it's in radio one, 
nutrients could could come in and metabolic waste get out in a fast normal a standard way and that is what allows your cell my cell to either growth to stop growing and to divide the internal mechanism of cellular respiration it happens to be that in cancer cell one of the one of the things that cancer cells don't have is mitochondria which is like the machinery inside yourself that will provide for energy that will break all these things apart so in cancer cells there is no mitochondria there are no proteins there are no enzymes and when that happens your cell start to grow uncontrollably you cannot really manage that growing and that's how you have cancer metastasis besides that cancer cannot live cannot survive where there is oxygen cancer love sugar glucose that's the mode in which cancer cell break the glucose and multiply itself 400 times as a normal rate for any cell division and that is the reason why if you are one of those sadly to say cancer patient your enemy number one is sugar your best friend is oxygen your best friend is detoxification your best friend is ozone your best friend is ultraviolet b blood irradiation which is going to energize is going to promote is going to activate is going to regenerate your mitochondria or give initial for new mitochondria to be developed so vitamin c an antioxidant minerals amino acid all these nutrients will help your cell inside to stop the growing of cancer cells to liberate each cell of your body of this metabolic waste that are toxins to you that's just in nutrients we're not even talking about those metals or heavy metals that you find it and me too without we knowing it in water in the nutrients in processed food in the environment in colors what do you mean colors well if i get a purse that is really red maybe the chemical that they use for that purse to look red is really not a good chemical it's toxin to you as well as the perfume as well as makeup lipstick you see regardless of how good you keep yourself in good nutrition organic if you make it yourself you are always going to be exposed to all these environmental toxicants or toxins or metals or heavy metals today we are so polluted in every aspect of everything that you need to keep a good IV a good preventive medicine and a good support exercise therapy so that your body each cell of those 60 trillion cells regenerate and do not get into a cancer state or a metabolic condition as today we have so the number one problem in cancer sugar the number one problem in metabolic disorders or diseases also sugar after that toxins after toxins environment all those pollution that surround us so every time you want to change your color in your hair 
every time you want to put nail polish, every time you're going to put a cream in your skin, every time you are going to eat Coke, color, beverages, vegetables, every time you're going to wear a specific clothing in which if it rains, it doesn't go through the first layer. It's nice. But what is that texture made of? Are those what they call it forever chemicals? Perhaps. So, as you see, let's educate more ourselves into our nutrition system, into the way we treat diseases or our metabolic components of reactions within a human cell. Thank you, 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 thank you. This just was an introduction. At least you're going to have something to start by and to follow more information on YouTube, on Google. There is a lot of sites that you can gather more information on all of these things that I was just talking to. Perhaps you find something that's more simple than what I just uh, uh, explained to you here. But nevertheless, thank you once again. Please, please subscribe to my channel. Share this video. Open the eye to many people that do not understand how your body is actually starting to work metabolically wise. Once again, Dante Hoa, I'm here to guide you, to give you more direction based on science. All right, take care. And for my students, you know what's going to happen on Saturday, right? Think about how many questions will I ask you in a test based on this lecture. See you.